In my book, Voyage to Mars, uh, which came out about 10 years ago, um, I was following a group of uh, very, very dedicated scientists who were part of the MOLA team, uh, the Mars Orbiter Laser Altimeter. Much of the uh, scientific background of the reality of Mars was conditioned by this image, which was then over 30 years old. And at this point, Mars had been stripped of virtually all its romance. And instead of being the red planet of Ray Bradbury or Lowell or others, was considered the dead planet, perhaps as dry and as lifeless as the moon. But then jumping ahead a little more than 30 years to this image, shows how dramatically that paradigm had changed. The revived fascination in, in Mars for its scientific possibilities and to a lesser extent its romance became apparent and, and somewhat of an obsession in, in the Mars program at NASA. Mars Global Surveyor kept circling Mars and the scientists um, who remained with it year after year after year kept perfecting uh, the cameras and the instruments and the laser altimeter and after a while, the surface of Mars was mapped in greater detail than the surface of Earth. The MOLA instrument was mapping Mars, but it was also looking for signs, potential signs of uh, ancient water on Mars and potential landing sites for other spacecraft on Mars. So it was linked in to other missions. This, this began my thinking about exploration and discovery and drawing analogies between what NASA was doing now in the age of exploration in the 15th century and uh, early 16th century. And I began thinking about rovers and what comparisons could be made to cl ex classic explorers such as Christopher Columbus. And uh, at the moment, um, I'm writing about Columbus's four voyages. And in, in, in working on it, I became aware of something called the Columbian Exchange, which is another way of saying uh, the law of unintended consequences. Uh, the Columbian Exchange was uh, first explored by Alfred Crosby. That made me wonder now what will be some of the unintended consequences, good or bad or indifferent, of our exploration of Mars, of NASA's exploration of Mars.